Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and today we're looking at this radio that I picked up from eBay um, supposedly faulty so hopefully it's going to make a nice repair if it is actually faulty so you've probably seen the title already so what we have here is a Uniden or should we say Audio Line 341 so straight 40 UKFM radio it's supposed to have a fault, no transmit, no receive, no channel display, just a signal meter lights up. So, radio doesn't look in too bad a condition really. I've seen worse. Check out my previous video on one of these. So let's have a look inside, see whether there's anything in there that's going to surprise us. Because we do like surprises when we open these. An initial glance, everything looks absolutely untouched. No holes in any of the parts or blasted transistors or blasted audio ICs. Protection diode looks like it's intact. Let's have a look at the bottom, see if there's any surprises under there. Sure enough, no surprises. Everything looks everything looks untouched. Absolutely excellent. So what could be wrong with this radio? Well, I was thinking, did they take a picture with the PA button in? And sure enough, nothing. No channel display, no RXTX. Just the light on the, on the meter. Okay, let's do some investigation. Let's see if we can find out what's wrong with this. making sure it's definitely not a dirty switch and it's not so check for 8 volts on the PLL on pin 1 and absolutely nothing so let's try something else let's see if the CBPA switch works well, this to me, this voltage looks a bit low. I'm sure it should have more on it than that. But the switch is working. So I don't think it's going to be the switch. So, we're going to take a gamble. And we're going to go straight for the 10 volt capacitors. So there's one by the PLL. And there's C102 there by um, one of the regulators. So I've took C102 out and put it on my capacitor tester. And I can't seem to get a steady reading from it. And this is the other one by the um, PLL circuit, C76. Oh, sorry. Yes, C76. And that one kind of reads a little bit. So let's continuity check them. So C76 reads in mega ohms, which is kind of okay. And C102 is reading 0.4 of an ohm. So we have a shorted capacitor. 
and the shorter capacitor is on the regulator. Could this be our problem? As you can hear by continuity, it's a wire link. So have we found it? So let's have a look. So in the middle of the screen now we've got C76. Which is the first one that we tested. And that kind of read okay-ish a little bit. And the next one I'm going to show you is C102. So there's C102 in the middle of the screen. Next to TR19, which is one of our 8.9 regulators. And this is the one that was short circuit. So, will changing this capacitor bring it back on again? Well, let's find out. So, I've replaced the two capacitors, 220 mic. I think I put 25 volt ones in, doesn't matter about the voltage. As long as the value is correct. And switch it on, and we have life. Excellent. So, just a duff capacitor. No channel segments out, excellent. So you can see there the CBPA switch is working correctly. Okay, nice quick repair. And there it is again, the 220 mic reading. Absolutely short circuit. No leakage, no butts, just short. So, the curse of the 10 volt capacitors. So, we have a good transmit. High and low power's working. It's receiving correctly. Check it on the frequency counter. Yeah, it's close as. Yep, it's as close as. That's good enough. Check the power output. On the generous side, but that's fine. So nothing needs to be adjusted there. So that's good. Let's check this Synad stuff. So round about 100 minus 110 dB. Round about a minus 20 dB Synad. So receiver's working perfectly fine. As you can see, put it up to 2K input, needle goes over, put it down to 1K tone, and it drops to 20 dB Synad. So excellent. As always with microchip stuff, metal going over with foam cleaner. Excellent, so everything's working nicely. So there we have it nice quick repair and yes the curse of the 10 volt capacitors which seems to plague these uniden chassis no matter which chassis it is they always seem to play up anyway hope you like this quick video don't forget to like subscribe join the facebook group buy me a coffee join patreon and thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.